Good morning. I'm meteorologist John Marshall updating you on Hurricane Matthew. And Hurricane Matthew right now is a powerful Category 4 storm with winds of 150 miles an hour. Take a look at the satellite loop. It is still like a buzzsaw churning through the Caribbean. This storm means business. Category 4, the islands of Jamaica, uh, Haiti, Hispaniola. Here is Jamaica right there. It's about 315 miles southeast of Jamaica. So we are really worried about this system, especially for the islands right now. Um, it is still powerful. As you can see, the eye is about 12 miles in diameter. But you know what they do, folks? They throw Hurricane Hunter planes into the system. And you will see, um, we just got this information in from the Hurricane craft, aircraft itself. Don't worry about all this. This is meteorological jargon right here. What I wanted to show you um, right here is they're saying there's a ragged eye wall with possible um, an outer eye forming. And this is what these powerful hurricanes do uh, as they really get up there in Category 3, 4, and 5 status. And remember, Matthew was a Category 5 uh, yesterday. It intensified rapidly, blew everybody's mind away with how just strong it got. So this is the data we get from the Hurricane Hunter aircraft. It's saying the eye is open to the southeast. So maybe just maybe it's a losing a little bit of its punch, but it goes through these fluctuations, hurricanes, when they're this intense. And basically, um, we're going to track this thing for you because there's a lot of uh, chatter, hoopla, about where this thing is going to go. And we're going to take a look at a couple of models. I'm beginning to get a clearer idea of what may happen in the upper levels of the atmosphere with the path of Matthew. Again, hurricanes are very fickle. I know that. Look what happened with Hermine. So... Anybody that's telling you this thing is going to hit the East Coast is unreliable in my eyes, okay? We don't know. The storm is still five to six days away from just getting up to our latitude. Could be way offshore at our latitude. So I'm going to give you um, the GFS run right now at the upper levels of the atmosphere. And what you're going to see, this is the hurricane down here. These are winds at about 30,000 feet. We need as meteorologists to look at the airflow pattern. And here by Wednesday into Thursday there is an upper level high developing. And what that wants to do is it wants to push the hurricane a bit close to the coast, the southeast coast. There is a trough of low pressure. Does it catch it or does it push it out to sea with the GFS? Well, it comes pretty close, the storm, and then moves up and off. Now we're gonna take a look at the European. You know, this model has been uh, praised for the track of Sandy. Again, we're looking at a trough over the west here is Matthew right now, Wednesday. Here's a bit of high pressure, trying to build in and keep the storm back to the west. And that the European has caught on to that idea. Look at this ridge of high pressure. So it's keeping it slowly moving to off the South Carolina, North Carolina coast. And then what happens? Does that trough develop? Does it become a progressively flow and throw this hurricane offshore? Right now, it's too close to say. But it is, both of these models, they're on the same idea, which is good for us trying to forecast where this thing may go. Now, the hurricane track, again, Matthew, Category 4, winds of 150 miles an hour, located in the Caribbean. This is bath water. Water temperatures down here are about 85 degrees, okay? Slowly, it made that northwest turn. It's creeping along. Again, these things are fickle. Hurricane warning, Jamaica, Haiti, Cuba, eastern Cuba, by about, oh, Monday, let's see, Monday afternoon, it's just east of Jamaica. That's the forecast track, but they're under a hurricane warning. Hopefully, Jamaica does not get a direct hit. Haiti, flooding rains are expected in this nation. They do not need that. Unfortunately, they live on uh, you know, hillsides, and mudslides will occur with this hurricane, no matter what happens with its wind speed. Okay, then it gets into the Bahamas. Wednesday, uh, let's say 2 o'clock in the morning. Don't worry about the time. Just look at the day. Wednesday, it's in the southern Bahamas. Hurricane watch up for the Turks and Caicos. Little left-hand turn here, Friday. And I agree with this track from the National Hurricane Center. Folks, after Thursday and Friday, who knows what may happen with this? Okay, we got to look at the upper level flow, as I told you, and see, does the storm stay offshore and parallel to the coast? 
Does it make a landfall or does it say out to sea? Can't answer that question for you right now. Got to be honest with you. You know me. No nonsense, no hype. I can't answer that. It is going to take some time, folks. We are five to seven days still away from really being concerned about this. Okay? Now, five-day forecast. I'm tired of it, too. The gray skies. Still great today. 67 degrees. That's it. The average high temperature now is about 69, 70, so we're getting close to that. Uh, maybe a spot shower, some drizzle, areas of fog. Gloomy. Gloomy. We got football Sunday, though. Stray shower for Monday. Hey, we may get to see that ball of fire in the sky. Temperatures will be in the lower 70s. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday look pretty nice. Finally, some sunshine. Temperatures within a few degrees of average. And um, we're going to be watching Matthew off our coast over the next couple of days and obviously through the next five days. You can always get an updated forecast at www.johnmarshallweather.com. Um, you know, it, these hurricanes are tough. They're tough to forecast. The, the intensity was amazing two days ago. I've never seen a hurricane go from a tropical storm to, to a Category 5, I think, within 36 hours, for the exception of Hurricane Wilma in 2005. All right. Have a great uh, Sunday. We'll see you guys soon. Enjoy.